So we're here at the Chrysalis Gallery and at the exhibition Pincushion, uh, featuring the paintings of uh, Vladimir Radueko. Um, Chrysalis Gallery is um, an emerging uh, gallery that works with young artists, mostly. Chrysalis is also represented by its name. Chrysalis means cocoon. And we chose this name because um, we proud ourselves to work with young emerging artists. and give them the space to, to develop and show their vision. And the exhibition that we have now, it's our uh, first painting exhibition, actually. And uh, the works of uh, Vladimir, they have been all produced in the last year, year and a half. The title, Pincushion, comes from um, uh, sort of my decision of having a contrast which is very um, which opposes soft and rough at the same time. So pink cushion, the pink cushion itself is an image that has a, has a soft connotation and even though it's soft at the same time you could feel all the needles that had been lost inside and this kind of sort of prickling sensation um, and I feel sort of the same when looking at Vladimir's work because they're really nice and they kind of suck you in into their small universes but at the same time they're they're kind of rough but it's sort of a nice feeling to be uh, persuaded and taken by the shapes and figures of the of the paintings themselves uh, i started collaborating with uh, chrysalid a year and a half ago uh, we actually started curating uh, two different shows together and uh, those projects were actually uh, very interesting uh, for me to see if, I, if I'm able to uh, uh, communicate with, uh, with another curator on, uh, on the same idea, which kind of happened really organically. And uh, well, this exhibition is something that kind of grew out of that friendship and uh, really very close and intensive connection. Since I was trained as a printmaker, my, my primary uh, means of expression was line. And that's something that still kind of remained really as a really strong uh, thing about my work and, and, and the thing how I can uh, express myself the best way. Although the end product of my work is uh, formally a painting, uh, I treat them as drawings from uh, from the beginning until the until the end until they're, they're finished. Uh, I do so by uh, uh, layering uh, uh, really heavy networks of lines, uh, one abo above the other, and uh, slowly kind of taming the chaos that they create into an image that that, that, that is strong enough to, to stand on its own rather than being just a yeah, bunch of chaotic lines. Through this show, or rather through, through uh, last year and a half, I did rediscover myself as, as somebody whose drawing is yeah, the main uh, way of expression. And that's why these paintings actually look more like drawings rather than paintings. The most important work out of all for me uh, was Silver Moon, the round painting. That was one of the first that was, uh, that was done in, in this period of time and uh, which kind of resolved in all of the canvases that came after it. Uh, this one is the most solid one and uh, uh, it's actually the first time that I, that I start of, uh, started this uh, dissolvement treatment of the painting. It's relatively solid, but there is a part where uh, this kind of line work starts emerging, and on the next painting it, start, uh, it becomes even stronger and stronger and stronger. 
with Martina was very organic and uh, interesting. I kind of really enjoyed having her critical eye on it uh, to kind of reduce all of this crazy energy into a really nice uh, curated and clean show. Thank you.